there's our wire kit. Oh my gosh. That's it. It's going to hold our mast up. That's right. We were like two kids at Christmas when our big box of rigging came. We're up to nice turn buckles. I know what those are. Those the barrels, right? Or no? Yeah, this is the eye rod. Yeah. So this goes into the, the bottom, and then the high mod fitting goes into the top of each rod. Okay. And then this is. Ooh, I see this. I see this too. I know what that is. Ooh, that's our 90 degree tang turn thing. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> It'll make sense, I promise. Watch as we engineer the new rigging, figure out the almighty angle of the dangle, and as always, run into issues on this big refit project. Yes, always issues. It has been our intention all along to replace the original rod rigging on our boat this winter before we went cruising this year. While we had been debating going back with rod versus modifying the rig for wire rigging, when we received the estimate from West Marine for wire rigging in the amount of $1,900, it really swayed things in favor of wire. But to be honest, we had some concerns about going with such a high volume producer to make our rigging. So we did what any DIYer would do, ask the experts for yeah, their opinion. But as far as the rigging department, no, I think they've got a class act of rigging. Yeah. At the time I was there, I probably did 10 rigging orders and I never had any issues. Then I did all Andy's stuff. That's right, yeah, we did do Andy's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've just, had, you know, I had a lot of people say, you know, go with the stay locks, don't trust the swedge unless you really, really know the rigger doing the swedging. That's that's kind of what you I You got to think West Brink is doing it. Good materials. I mean, everything they use is loose cable. I mean, you put it in the machine, yeah. you press it in, and you press a button, and it basically does the work. Right. I've Most met the, the riggers, I mean, damn near all of them. They're all just like me and you, but the most of them all have been doing it for 20, 30 years. Yeah. So you don't want to go party with the group of people. Most <laughs> all of them are sailors. You can't hang. Okay. You can't hang. <laughs> All right, so the West Marine riggers, go with them on the rigging, don't go out for drinks with them. Got it. But once the decision was made to let West Marine make the wire rigging, we still had mountains to climb to engineer the modifications needed to attach the wire to the mast. Previously, the rod shrouds connected to the mast via a barrel that went through the mast. So this would go like through the mast. And then screw in on the other side, just like had it's a threaded barrel like that. So that was the old way. And there was a bushing in between to make sure no matter how much you tightened it, it didn't crush the mast. Um, that would, you know, hold the mast out and support it. Um, so we're making a new bushing with a uh, steel bimini. Sweet. Got some extra stainless from the um, canvas guy, Tony. Thank you. These would be the bushings for our mast. We also have to turn this into a wire fitting, um, you know, because it's rod right now. And it's very sleek, very nice, well designed, but we have to make this somehow be a tang for an eyelet for wire. That's the big mystery. Fun, right? After a lot, and I stress a lot, of calculating and engineering on Philip's part, we decided to go with this. So we have a plate here that will have like six kind of bolts just to prevent turning like this. So hold it real steady. Come down a little bit. And then what we're trying to figure out now is the angle off the mast. Here's a little sneak peek. Pretty, huh? But do you see the one on the end that's bent upward? That's the crucial part. The angle of the dangle. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? A squared plus C squared equals B squared or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's called Pythagoras in theory. What do I put in? Theory. Yes, that is seriously what we were trying to do. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But we ran into an issue when we discovered this. That's probably not a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna look at the bottom one and see how it goes. Er yeah, one must have a 90 degree angle to use the Pythagorean theorem. 
So our next idea was to run a line from the tip of the spreader and physically obtain the angle using a fancy protractor. <laughs> Struggling a bit, we turned to a great resource we have, the Niagara 35 Owners Group on Facebook, and have to thank Ken Goodings for helping us find the rigging piece that took the error out of our angle of the dangle calculations. Yes, I see this too. I know what that is. Ooh, that's our 90 degree tang turn thing. I'm sure it's called something far more technical, <laughs> but here's what it does. It. And then what we're trying to figure out now is the angle off the mast. And then we'll have an attachment here that's going to allow movement this way. And then also this way. So the this way, the technical term, is going to fix our angle of the dangle issue because it'll just modify, adjust however it needs to be done. That's why we're not only having this. We're going to have this and then this. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, rigging. Real fun. <laughs> While the angle of the dangle problem was a huge one to solve, we still had a lot of tiny little issues with all of the pieces <laughs> fitting together. Complicated. All right, we are continuing the rigging saga. And one of the concerns we had is these are our deck connections here for our lower, our upper, and our other lower shrouds. And you can see these bolts go through the deck here and these are the pins get accepted. So we're trying to switch to all 5 16 wire to simplify the rig. And one of our concerns is that this, the lower, is a little bit smaller. It's the 7 16 So you see there it's, it's not quite half inch. Just a sixteenth of an inch smaller. It's also a little smaller there, so we're worried that the stud that we ordered would be too big. But as you can see, we can still work it down in there. And I think that's gonna work just fine. So just have to get it in there and then it'll work back and forth just fine. This was a bit of a concern because previously our lower shrouds had been a shade smaller than our middle upper shroud, but we wanted to switch to 5 16 wire all the way around. That way we would only have to carry one size wire when we cruise in case we had to make repairs to the wire rigging. And we were lucky that the new 5 16 wire studs fit with a little muscle into all of our deck shroud connections. This was not the case, however, with the new half-inch cotter pins that we needed to go through the deck shroud connections. But we didn't see it as too big of a problem. If something doesn't fit, what do you do? You make the hole bigger. Well, that's it, it's through, huh? That's cool. We made a new hole! So, the new wire rigging above deck? Almost done. Next up, I'll share with you some issues we faced with the rigging below deck. It is bent. <laughs> and it doesn't... The head is not going to fit in there. And some of the really cool machining that we had done to fix it. But if you're wondering why I look like a coal miner's daughter here, I did mention another issue, didn't I? While Philip was working on the rigging, I was working on the bottom, sanding out the keel seam, and we discovered this. I keep finding more! Places where it just scrapes away. Gonna have a lot of sanding to do. But you can kind of see, like, you'll see a little ridge. Hope you can see that. And if you scrape near it, usually it'll start just coming off. It comes off a little bit, it needs to come off. There's one right there. I see some here. That looks, oh, I was about to say it looked good, and then beep. It just looks like it needs to come off, you know? 
comes off with a tiny little knife scrape, it needs to come off, so. Lots more work to do. <sighs> like in the videos? Awesome. Go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. Let's do this. GoPro, you get real scary around here. I mean, scary stuff.